Denny? Yes. Hi, um, Denny. I have a, a Buick 01 LeSabre right. with 75,000 miles. Okay. And this question you've probably been asked a thousand times, but it's on that dumb little light that comes on that says your your uh, gas cap is loose or whatever. Well, let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, are you mean the check engine light, right? Well, the check engine is on the right-hand side, but on the left-hand side, uh, you know, it says your your um, the gas cap is G- loose. Gas cap is loose, and 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 you've had that come on more than once. And and when it came on, uh, how did you get it off? Well, we took it to the mechanic guy, right. and he put the tester on it, right. and um, said, "Well, you need to when you do your gas cap, be sure that your key is off and all that kind of jazz." So we went and filled it, and we did it exactly like he said. It came back on, and so then we took it back to him again okay. because it's been oiled. It's been the you know we keep it up okay. uh, very well. And it's a good running car, so he says, "Well, nothing's wrong with your car." So people are saying, well, leave it on, forget about it. No, but no, 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 no. I no. can't do that. No, you can't do it, nor should you. Anytime a warning light is on, that's what that light's for, is to warn you as the driver that we've got a potential problem here. Yeah. And and uh, I, I have a, a specific a bone to pick with anybody that would, would suggest that, and I'll tell you why. Uh, if you're at a family convention or just an outing somewhere, and you had to run down to the store to get a loaf of bread, you're, you happened to be there last, so your car was in the way, you might hand your keys to uh, a friend or one of your family members say, here, just take my car. Oh, and by the way, there's a check engine light on. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And then, if, if heaven forbid, some uh, some oil uh, uh, or some something some crisis would come up, and the engine would would start to be destroyed, and that per- and another light would come on, and that driver would say, well, she said, don't worry about the light anyway. So I totally disagree. Yeah. That's the only way that that car can communicate with you yeah. is through the, the lights. Now, having said that. The fuel tank is sealed from the atmosphere. It does not breathe its fumes into the atmosphere. That means that as you drive your car, uh, there's a pump that actually pumps pressure into the fuel tank. And this pump, if you can, blow your cheeks out. And then if you open your mouth, you can't blow your cheeks out, right? Right. Well, if your mouth is the gas cap and the cap is tight, that means you got to have a leak in your cheek yeah. if, if you can't blow your cheeks up. Yeah. That's true for a car. If you if your car has a tight gas cap but still can't blow its gas tank up, that means it has a leak in the evaporative emissions control system. Write those words down. Evaporative emission. Evaporative. Evap. Evap. Just put evap. And yeah. any technician worth his yeah. or her salt will know what evap means. And here's what we use in the industry to test that system. In addition to checking the check engine light and using all that fancy scanner stuff, tools, we use smoke. We have a smoke machine. And we'll literally induce smoke into the gas tank. And we'll look for where it comes out. And you're going to find you've got some simple vacuum line or evap line that is disconnected or some part of the car. But by all means, you make sure that you want that light to go out because it is not acceptable. You and I are on the same page, and I I applaud you for that sense of uh, doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have friends. They said uh, that their mechanic told them the same thing. Well, it's and easy, said, it's well, easy yeah, to just... tell somebody to ignore. If you had a pain in your chest and you went to the doctor and yeah. he said, ignore that, what, what would you do? You'd get a second yeah. opinion, right? Right. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. you just got okay, your... Okay, so the smoke machine needs to shoot into the... Well, no, let them let them decide how they use the machine. Oh. All you want to do is you want the EVAP system tested because that EVAP system is telling you that the, there's a problem in the gas tank or a problem in the gas tank vapor system. You got it? Okay. It's all EVAP. You want the EVAP tested because the light has to go out and it has to stay out because that's the way you want that to work. All right. Okay, my dear. I will do what you say. Thanks, Denny. Thank you. You're welcome.